Hi everyone, welcome to Learn Creative. In today's video, I will teach you how to use this new tool in Adobe Illustrator to turn flat vectors into 3D. I will teach you start to end complete process. So stay connected. Before starting it is essential that your version of Adobe Illustrator is 2022 or higher. First of all, we must draw a flat object or type any text. In our case, I am creating a panda face. You can also try using Illustrator's 3D tools with any typeface or object. The heavier the type or object, the better it will look inflated. When it's done, select the object. Go to the Effect menu, then 3D and Materials, and Inflate. Next, adjust a few additional settings to give the inflated letters a glossy sheen. Go to Materials. Choose the default and set the roughness to 0.08 and the metallic to 0. As you make changes, your real-time preview will give you a good idea of how your 3D object will appear. To confirm your adjustments, click the render icon at the upper right corner of the 3D and materials properties panel. Next, go to the Lighting tab, to be able to create light and shadow effects for your design, and give it the desired finish. You can use the same values as in the example to get the same finish as in our design. Or you can keep trying until you get the finish you like best.
Next, add more dimension by adjusting the settings for shadows. To do so, click the shadows toggle on. For position, select behind object from the pull down options. You can try my setting or play around with it. Finally, we are going to render our design to see how it looks. Throughout the design process, you can render to see how your project is going, but it is recommended to work with the design without rendering since that makes the system slow. This way you can create pump up 3D objects, icons, and designs quickly and easily, just using Adobe Illustrator. What do you think? Write to us in the comment section if you have any questions. Make sure you head over to my YouTube channel, where I upload graphic related tutorials. Thank you for watching.